quick thing on tactics now. Because two things on tactics. One is people's tactics are normally limited to let's play on their backhand or my strength meets their weakness, which normally means your forehand onto their backhand. And tactics is more than that. Tactics is what is the evidence of where points are won or lost, where it happens, and how many shots do you need to hit in order to get there. And it's no different from the military going out into battle. They wouldn't do it spontaneously, improvised, let's go out and do our best. They would have intelligence back from the enemy. They would analyze it for best options and then choose the option and then train that option lots before going to execute. And we don't do any of that. Like, why is not? So I see, and I'm at a club today, where I can see a, a really, not taking anything away from them, a really good coach and a really good player training repetitively, amazingly well, the eight shots and more rally. And they may or may not know, because I haven't asked them, that that only accounts for 10% of the points. So if you know that you're putting all this time for 10% of the points, that's cool. But those 10% of the points are also at the far end before you get to what we've been training and that's why we look good and we're comfortable because that's the only thing we train. You've got to go through the 5 to 8 pattern of play and that's not the same as the endurance. And before you even get to the 5 to 8 pattern play phase, you've got to get through the first strike phase, four shots or less. So why would you spend most of your time training something that doesn't happen in a match. The most common rally length in tennis from pro to college to club player is one shot. 30% of points are in one shot. You've either done a great serve, you've forced an error, or you've had an unforced error. The second most common rally length is the third shot. Serve, return of serve, third shot. 15% of points. So your first serve followed by your second shot is 45% of the points in first serve or second serve. And the return of serve plus one is 20%. So 70% of shots are in first strike. 20% are in the pattern of play. 10% are in the endurance. And the older you get, the more you play into pushing and endurance because that's what people are accustomed to do. It's like a compliant game of tennis. I hit the ball to you, you hit the ball to me, uh, and after X hours you win the point, match, and then next day you come back if you're in a tournament play another match and by the quarters or semis you're absolutely gone. Why is that? And it's because you haven't practiced the serve plus one or the return of serve plus one or the setup of the cross court hurting down the line or the approach shot and put away volley or smash or the passing shot plus one. You don't practice these things and yet inches or feet in each component make sure the rally finishes early. The sense of direction, decision of the first bounce, the consistency, first three components, and only then when you write can you add spin and power to make it more effective. So those are the tactics we train and that's why we have specific one-two shot executions under simulated pressure and training yourself at the same time.